Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, right, everybody. Welcome to week 16 of my GM mode here on uh, Backbreaker Gaming's YouTube channel here. Season 2, Week 16, Fallout from Fastlane. Tried to speed that out five times here. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a ton of fun here this week. And it's going to be, we got to get some new feuds going. We got to settle some stuff. We got contracts coming up. And yeah, we're 60,000 behind uh, Raw right now. So we got some work to do in terms of fan-wise. Hall of Fame trophies, we're way ahead of everybody else. But uh, for those that are new here uh, on the YouTube channel, we do record on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref here after every AEW collision and dynamite. And for those watching here live on Twitch, we uh, broadcast these over edited separately on our YouTube channel, Backbreaker underscore gaming available every Friday and Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Mountain. Well, yeah, so the last time we were here, we had our PLE really successful. Uh, a couple a couple matches we just went, huh? In terms of why the Dakota Kai-Becky Lynch match didn't get over well. And we brought in some special guests. We tried to get everything going right. But it just, the mid card didn't work out as well as we thought it would. But we do have some rivalries to get together. We do have some things, some contracts running out. So we're going to have to figure things as we go here. But you know what? Let's get to it here. Because I could sit here and talk, but we could actually look. All right. So make sure that Baron Corbin cuts a promo this week for a two-bit arena. Okay, I could do that. That will help a lot going into the next PLE. So let's see what we got here. Next week, we got Moreno and Slugger running out. The week after that, we got uh, Clint. There we got Ruthless in 19, the hell in 20. So everybody's going in a week at a time. And Trent's going week 22. So we're going to get him. We're getting him made of ending our PLE coming up against Gunta. All right. So we still have two weeks left on this. So let's see what we got here. The logistics. So we can either do the stage crew which will get us show quality up to 14%, show compensation 2%, and unlock hold, no holds barred, or we go commercial ads, which get us a network deal payout of four grand. It's really in a whole lot. Which is an extra two thousand dollars. Sorry, because looking at it right now, we are at two grand. So, uh, I think we should go with the crew, because I I don't think special guest referees that big of a deal for me here. But the show compensation, we get an extra percentage there, and then. Three extra percentage points in show quality. So, you know what? For this this round, we'll go here. Next time, we'll go into the other one here. So, there we go. We have just upgraded our show. Now, let's see. We got a. I want to see what we have for rivalries here first before we go into this. Jade and Slugger are level 3. Jade and Nah level 2. Gambit Moreno level 4. We need to get that going. Valhalla's out for another two weeks yet. Mysterio McDougal. I'm almost thinking what we do is highlight the ladies here today, depending on the stamina. As we go here. 
because I don't think Mysterio and McDougal is going to do a whole lot. Next week, we could do Shaw and Gunther. So this one here... They're both really injured right now. They're not, they're not injured, but they're going to be by the time I'm done here. Do I want to book a cage match right now? I think I have to at this point for these two, but... Let's see what else we could do here. JC Jane, Billy Slugger, that actually works out very well. We're gonna, oh, casket's an option. No, we'll do that. Let's do a false count anywhere match. They got lots of stamina left. We're gonna get that rivalry up to a level four here. Turns of a men's feud here. I would like to get stacks into a title situation here. Who do I have for heels here? That's right, I'm running out of heels. Um I would like to get some of my other sorry just try to figure out which way we want to go with this here do we want to go with I almost want to go with Clint and uh I got to get Baron to perform a, a promo, so we're not going to do that with the, uh, we're not, we're not, you know what, maybe we do, maybe we do do the call out this way, do do. Okay, so the commissioner's goal is met if we do this, right? And then if we do this, put that as a false count anywhere. They lose, like, I forgot, we less chance of getting injured. But they're the same type too, so I don't know if I wanna, I know what we'll do here. Let's open this up here to a, let's get some of our newbies in here. Love to get Blair in there. In terms of face, the only other one I have is Ava. Well, Ava's already in the match. Actually, I know what I'll do is I'll put Becky in here. And we will see if we can try to... I'll see if we could try and get a rivalry going between Blair and Becky. If we can do that on top of the, the feud with Ava and Trixie there, that actually might work out really well here. So um, let's get... Uh, I need some heals. What do we got here? We got a fighter. Oh God. These guys are faces? No, we're good. Um, I 
Yeah, let's see if we can get see if we get anybody here. Yeah. We got Argus who was around for a while already. We could get Argus taking on uh Maybe we could get Argus and Stax to go at it here. Let's bring him in for five. All right, so we're going to book here our newly formed gentleman Argus. Taking on stacks. Actually, you know what? We could probably do a triple threat tables match. Let's get Carmelo involved. Put the title on the line. Ugh, let's see here. What else we got available here? We can run this again. Is a tables match, maybe? Yeah, because we just had the regular match last time, so let's see if we can do a tables here. Do I want to run this? Hmm. You know what I might do, just to give those two a chance to heal up here. I think we run the Gunther Shaw match here. Put the tile on the line. Watch the world get shocked. These two will have a decent match. This could be crazy. Then maybe we can get away with... I, I literally just want to get that title off stacks any way I can here, so... If there's some way I could do it here, maybe move this one up. This is a level 3 already. We could save that. We're going to have to do that one next week. Yeah, I know. It's... The thing is, tables matches have barely have any stamina, right? You know what? Let's, let's see if we get this feud going. Let's do this at non-title right now. Yeah, if you take a look here, tables matches, stamina's low. You don't get much of a boost out of it, but the fact that these guys are different categories actually works out really well. Or if I do a four-way here, do I have another heal that I could put in there? No, I don't. And then we got, oh, let's not forget to put the title on the line there because that's the most important part of this. All right, I think we're, we're playing with fire here. The fact that we got the more popular people. Granted, Carmelo and, Ch and Stax actually have a pretty good thing going on here. All right, let's see what else we can book here as we go. Actually, I could do an advertising promo here.
Clint still got a level five. That's a good point. That's a good point. I got a hunch here. Here's one I want to see what you guys think. Do I do this? Put Dragonov as a heel. That is definitely... That is something I did not consider, but that actually makes a lot of sense. Because he's also a specialist too, so he can work with anybody. Uh, give you a mix with... And if Stax does win that triple threat... That actually makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Zodiac, for playing that, that out for me here. And I'll get Clint here. Just so we can make some money out of this. So we got... Now... Like, there's... I also have a power-up saying I'm not going to get injured here, but... It's still... It's still touchy-feely here at the best of times. The worst thing that could happen for me here is... Stax wins and gets injured. That could royally screw me over. Because you see the uh, little dice there that are in the, the corner? That just means my power-up card's applied there, so... My shake-up. Superstars are far less likely to be injured in, in normal tables and false count anywhere matches. Uh, that's why I'm glad I picked that one. In the journal. We got Billy and Ava's contract coming up. So we might end up losing the tag titles depending on how much she wants. Ava. She's going to face Trixie next week. We're, we might end up losing Trixie for... A couple weeks, but I can live with that. That's what we used on Valhalla. That's why we got her to the PLE here. All right, so I think this is good for the card. Let's go take a look at our power cards here. We don't have a casket match. We have a casket match available, but I think anytime we're going to use that, we're not going to have to worry about it. These are way too much out of my budget right now. Let's just... Do I have the... Let me take a look at two weeks. Yeah, let's, let's get her back next week. So does that mean she's back or is she still out? Oh, sh she's back. Can I throw her in anywhere here? Oh, with 13 stamina, good point. You're, you're always the wise man tonight, sir. I'll give her a chance to breathe and let her feel better. We'll br we'll build that back up. But yeah, I think we got this card pretty much settled the way we're going to go here. Is there any more power cards we could use? We will. I'll use that at the beginning of week 21. Because it, in case I trade anybody, I don't want to lose them after giving them a stamina boost. We're going to have to use some of these cards up eventually here. So that last few weeks before we go is going to be very, very interesting.
All right, so I think we're good here. Let, let's get to it. I could sit here and stare at this card all day here. But now that we've upgraded our... I want to see what our area looks like now that we've upgraded here, so... So Stax wins the IC title. Even though I don't want him to. So I hire Argus to take him out. That's the story here. And Carmelo's just pissed that he didn't get the title uh, off Gunther still. And he won his last match, so now he wants a shot at the IC title. So I said, fine, let's do it. Once again, everybody, thank you for hanging around here tonight. San Jose, California. The following contest is a triple threat tables match and it's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship introducing the challenger from another time weighing in at 267 pounds Argus the Great so for those that weren't around during series one Argus was one of our main guys that we had going on. And introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo hey! So... Before we did this, the laser lights weren't working. So, I think we might actually have gotten that as an upgrade. For week 21, my goal is to have enough money to get the uh, money and assets in order to get the uh, social media campaign, and then we're at level four for everything. And then hopefully we'll get enough money that by uh, midway through season three, we can get the bigger stadiums. And introducing the champion, representing the D. Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, and one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Channel Stacks Lorenzo. So, the worst case scenario for me right now is Stax retains and Argus and Stax get in a feud. For me, that is the biggest issue I could have. That's to the point where I might actually have to use my fix, uh, fix match card. Because that possibly, you know, that, that's, that might be the only way I get the title off Stax. But if I use that, then the stamina goes down for, or the morale goes down for stacks. And I don't want to do that. But a beauty of a championship there. I do prefer the old school one though, but there could have been a lot worse, right? A lot worse designs. Stax is a man of the people. Well, he is the underboss, so. Argus, get in there, man. You, you've been brought in to be that blocker, so let's go. I hired you. I love the guy with the I can't see sign in the back, by the way.
Argus getting worked over here. Because actually the one feud I'd like to get set up here, I know it's specialist specialist, so it isn't exactly the best thing, but I'd like to try it out next week. Let's see if we can do Dragonov and Rollins. If we could do that, that to me would be a hell of a lot of fun. Because the only other thing I'm looking at here is if I can't get Davenport over with Lynch, I might have to do a... I'm not going to flip Becky, but I am going to change her role from Specialist to Bruiser. I get Specialist to Bruiser. But yeah, next week we might have to do uh, Billy, or sorry, uh, JC Jane and Billy Slugger. If I have to pick who, I, if I have to pick anybody in particular, I'm going to keep Billy over, uh, over Ava. I know we put a little bit of work into Ava, but I just don't see a lot of stuff going for her there. Billy's just, just done some great work with uh, with JC here that I, I think it deserves a bigger contract. But we'll have to decide on that once we uh, wrap things up here today. Somebody set that table up because the title's on the line here. Looks like Bella was going for the table. There you go, Argus. Out of play. Smart man. Argus doing everything here. Nice reversal by Argus. Oh, no way. Please, no. Thank you. You go over there. Yes, Mellow. Yes, Mellow. No, Argus. You know, the GM isn't supposed to actively cheer for anyone, but man, I'd love to get Stax back just a tag team wrestler. Be careful. Come on, Argus. Get back in there. You and Mello should just beat each other up for a while here. Preferably one of you go through the table. Stacks fighting out again. There you go. Dominator by Argus. Trying to go over a chop block here. Uh oh. Oh, Argus had it too. Everybody's going for that table. At least I'm impressed with that. Oh, I thought Stax was going to win it right there.
Nice running neck breaker as a counter. It's going to be a last ride. Speed power bomb. Yep. Mellow's done. Now I wonder if you go through the announcer's table, does that count? Yeah, way to show both there, Argus. It's the only problem when you got three guys in here, they... Or I need to the back of the head. That should finish that off. Mello throws up that. Oh, of course, bring the t table down. There you go, Melo. You got it. Come on, Argus. You got it. Why do you two got it? Stacks could ruin this right now. Just throw a clothesline. That's all you need to do. Come on, Argus. Oh, Melo back it out of it. Really? Come on. No, no. No, no. Come on, Argus. You know how to get out of this. There you go. DDT. Reversal of the court. Oh, no. Uh oh. This isn't good. There you go. Stacks in the face. All right, a little double team action here. Oh, he's got it! Up! All you had to do is turn him around. All you had to do is turn him around. Come on, Argus. Here it is. Here it is. Let's go. Going up. Argus the Great wins the IC title on his first night. stars Argus the enhancer wins the title let's go three star match could have been a lot worse because I didn't have everybody Argus and Lorenzo have a feud now great well at least I can work on that tag team robbery went up by one that's fine by me that worked all right, so this one here, Becky's looking to take out all challengers, right? And I got Blair Davenport just came over in that trade for MVP, her and Valhalla. So let's, uh, let's see what happens when you put two specialists in the ring. No title on the line. If I can get a feud out of this, 
I won't have as much of a problem picking this a little more of a long standing feud here. I do have Scarlet in my back pocket, but her stamina was a little low here. That's who the original feud was going to be. And that's who it's probably going to be if this doesn't work out. But let's bring in the brand new Blair Davenport. Like, Bla Blair's had a lot of stuff go... Like, I don't know if you knew about Blair. She actually had to have brain surgery for a tumor. I do believe... Uh, it's like 2015, 2016, somewhere in there. But she's come back strong as ever. And if I do remember properly, I do believe she is the former Ms. Wiss Ms. Will Osprey. Not married, of course, but. But no, it's it's fun. It, it's fun to see her in the Fed and also teaming up with uh, Isla Dawn and uh, Kylie Ray, who's they've been around for it. Like, as the champs coming out. And from Dublin, Ireland, the WWE Women's Champion, Becky Lynch! And I gotta check on my, uh, I just realized something. I want to check something out on the uh, some of my other videos. I know Jules and uh, his son Leon have been doing a Redux of 23. Basically, they're running through their own pay-per-views, father and son playing together. For they, right now they're on SummerSlam 23. Hey, Parish. Hope you're doing well tonight. Just finished watching Dynamite. Now we got uh, our GM mode here. Newly acquired uh, Blair Davenport is taking on Becky Lynch. I'm just trying to find a feud for Becky because Lord knows she can't get one herself. How about, I don't have Lyra in my lineup right now, so unfortunately, I, I could see that happening, but I was actually running short on uh, heels. I actually had to start turning some of my faces heel in promos here, but uh, the few that want to get into here, setting up into our fourth PLE, Bailey. No, right now, probably the schedule that I'm looking at. I want to see if I can get Scarlet into a feud with Becky. And then JC Jane and Becky will probably be my feud to close out the year. Jane's just finishing up a feud with Billy Slugger that I'll finish off next week. And Jane just got out of a title... Uh, Slugger barely knew her. I'll give you that one. I'm really... 
really having fun here watching a lot of the people that I knew that um oh god that was a crash and burn uh that are well known uh, WWE fans and AW I think haters the best way to put it I don't know if you've seen the latest promo here knock no, who's there at Parrish <laughs> uh the new faction with Marita Shafir and uh, John Moxley. Cargo who? Yeah, I don't know if the crowd's having it with this fight. No, Mike. Owl goes and a car goes beep beep. Nice. Watch this be a double count out here. Which actually I wouldn't mind that much for the fact that I needed to go below a three star match. Is Blair going to win this? No, never mind. Charles Robinson can't get to Ted anyway. Double end hook suplex. No way. Blair, you do not lose it to that. You at least get a finisher on you. Slams her down. What's Becky got planned up there? Little Nate wanted to be wrecked. That means he drank so much that Ted is the number they both. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm saying here. That, uh. There you go, disarmer. Should be tap out. Oh, rope break. Nice job, Blair. But Becky's setting up. Oh, missed it. Stolen finish! Oh my god, is Blair gonna win it? If you make a trade for me, AEW. I don't know if I'd even bother. There, there's a lot of people that don't want to be in either one. Like, I'm thinking. Almost, I'm almost at the point. Two trapped arms, wow. Reverse curb stomp, ooh. Watch this end up being a four star match and just ruin my life here. Uh, Blair, you gotta hit her. <laughs> Becky reverses. I'd have to think about that. Give me a second here. I got. Like, I know who I want to pull out of uh, WWE more than anything right now. I just gotta figure out what I would do for compensation back. It's probably what I'd end up doing is... Oh, here we go! Champion retain... Well, title wasn't on the line, but... Champion wins again with the... And of course, you're not going to show her with the title, even though it wasn't it was a title match, but she's still the champ. Now, do we get a rivalry out of this? Two star. All right, well, that's all I needed, really.
But did we get a rivalry? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We can work on this. Okay, McDougal is now a... Well, he's a promo skill five. That was an instant pick I got. He's a tag champ. Only lost one probability. All right, now this fight here... Last week, Cora Jade just needed to find somebody to fight. She needed somebody to uh, take on because she lost the title match to Becky Lynch. She was unable to... Uh, she, she wasn't able to secure the women's championship, so she just wanted somebody. She ended up taking on Ivy, and it ended up being a humdinger of a match, and now they're in a tables match, one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm just doing a tables match because I didn't want to do a same, same regular match with those two again. Um... Uh, Realistically, is a tables match making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Cora Jade. Maybe, uh, I'm thinking Sammy and Kevin for the acclaimed, maybe, or something to that effect. There's so much potential there with if you could put a uh, cap on Caster there or at least guide him in the right direction with some of his rap promos. And Bowens has just got so much talent there. But seeing K Sammy and Kevin in AEW, that would be... That would be over the moon for a trade, so... As I see, we're in the ad break, so you're probably not hearing it anyway. So yeah, Parrish, when I, uh, the trade I was looking at, I was thinking maybe the acclaimed for Sammy and Kevin. I know it sounds a little bit crazy in terms of who gets the return, but I think WWE could do a lot more with, uh, with the acclaimed if you put them in the right direction. And Sammy and Kevin over in AEW, like that would just, I think that would write itself. Ilya Dragunov for Orange Cassidy, that actually, that, yeah. Because I really don't know about Ilya going into, like, he's getting a shot on Saturday. Mainly because he got his big start in WXW, which was Gunther's promotion out in Germany. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not even worried about... I'm not really concerned about changing rosters back and forth because... When contracts come up, there's going to be some natural movement around. There's some people that are going to stay with one place permanently. There's some people that are just going to want to move. After a while, there's just no creative for you. I'd have a little bit more definition of people that I'd want to see move out. Oh, absolutely. I'm not big on the what ifs, and I think that's saying I've proven here a lot. Even though, oh, by the way, I guess I should throw an update here while we're here watching this match up here. Uh, the How the Ref would Book Challenge. Uh, frankly, we all got a little busy. I might be doing a different kind of booking video myself. 
Same for Sheeta. I would love to see the trade. Will never happen. I don't know if... I, I do believe that uh, Sheeta is still involved with Kenny Omega. I'm not 100% sure on that. But there's even talk of maybe Asuka not even being around anymore. Sane and Eel for Br Baker Nightingale. That... I don't know if they'd ever want to get rid of Nightingale or move on from Nightingale. Sane and Eel would be a lot better, but... I love that they're pulling out so many tables, but they're not using any of them. She could almost win the match there. Nightingale versus David. I do believe they are... If I do remember, I do think that uh, Nightingale is a lot smaller than what Nivet is. Yes, I understand meat division there, but... Look, if I do remember right, isn't Niven like 5'10", 5'11"? Willow can't be more than 5'7", 5'8". Oh, absolutely. I, I'll give you that. I don't think Piper Niven's given a, given a fair shot in WWE regardless. The fact that she didn't even get a chance to work in Scotland outside of being a... I think she was just a quarter person for Chelsea either, wasn't she? Nikki Cross for Anna J. Ah. Uh, frankly, like just playing GM advocate here. If I am, uh, if I'm AEW, I don't make that trade. I think there's too much potential there with Anna J. Unless you're expecting to get her back eventually. We well, yeah, uh, WWE crowd connection is key, and Niven is still working there. But she did face Bailey in Scotland. For, oh, that's right. Now is she getting is she getting connection because of herself, or is she getting connection because of Chelsea? Bailey for Baker. That would be. I go with that. I think that'd be a fair one. I'm still pissed about how Bailey was treated on her title run here. I think there's a whole lot more they could have done with it. I got a feeling this is going to be a lot better than the uh, main event, to be honest. What do you do at Ivy? Bailey face row was subpar, but at WWE too. I'm still not sold on Jay Cargill. I'm still not. She may have a presence, but that presence ain't turning the matches. That's the sad part. AEW booked her more correctly than WWE is, I feel.
And that's really is saying something. Because I still don't even think the booking in AEW is that great. They're going to be playing a very long game with her. I, I wish I could say I could see improvement in her, and I don't. Ivy getting out of it. I think Ivy has to win this one to even it up. Because Cora won last time. There it is. There's one thing I've learned about confidence. You can be as confident as you want about what you're doing. But if you're if you're confident and you're still screwing up, don't matter. Okay, so that's still a level two now. So I need to get that main event to three stars. That might be pushing it here. All right, Ilya, you are now a heel. Excellent. And now our main event. So let me bring up the sh story on this. So Trent Shaw randomly comes in here one day and turns to me and says, hey, could you give me a chance? I'm a, uh, I, I got a bunch of fans that are absolutely awesome that will hang on every word I do and I'll come in for free. Me being the carny booker that I am, hear the word free, and I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So I stuck him with Gunta. Immediately a rivalry. And then they got into a tag match. Or, uh, yeah, it was a tag match. Gunter was on one side and Trent was on the other. And Trent ends up pinning Booker, pinning Gunta. So Gunter's like, I want a match get Shaw. So last week he talked him in the building. And now we are getting a main event title match. I want to see complete chaos. I want Shaw to win this title. And I want Gunter to go absolutely ballistic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Man, that's a lot to get out. Thank you once again, Zodiac, for the hydrate. I will say that the, the fact that Trent Shaw is up to 38 popularity is an attestment to what we've been able to do with him here. Almost makes me wonder what we're going to have to pay for this. I'm over 100, 100k point spending time. Ugh. See, and I used to have the Tangia up, but literally nobody used it. So I didn't, uh, I, I took it down for now. I want to wait till we grow a little bigger and I wanted to bring it back up here because... Tangi has got so many different uh, displays and all that you could use for points or for bits. And I do have to revamp that a little bit and give you guys some more stuff to go with here, so. But I'm hoping with the higher show quality on this, we're going to get a better overall score. That was some artificial booze that were piped in. I know, because I have that button. No, um... As we get to our main event, I just want to say thank you to everybody for being here. It's always fun having everybody around here with chatting wrestling. We've had some hypothetical trades here. We might even start... At I've been talking about this for a while, but we might start doing it in October. 
because this was pretty much a wash at work for me. Might do one night a week where we just do a just talking or bring some fans in, or bring some friends in and we just chat about a different topic or something. I've always been interested in the just chatting streams. Because for people that don't know, oh, I'll wait till the announcements are done here. And remember, Trent is a cruiserweight, apparently. And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Gold! Ah, oh, Charles Robinson. There's going to be four referee bumps here. Or this could be a complete squash and this will just be... Yeah. Okay. Trent's taking it to Gunta. I really wonder what Trent's uh, asking price is going to be for the last three weeks here. Because if he's here to week 22, we can't keep anybody past week 25. So that's the other thing we're going to be able to start doing in season four or week 21 and on. We're going to be able to start signing some bigger free agents. I don't want to waste our money on stuff like that, but picking up one here or there just to make things bigger might actually work out so well. Oh, gets out of the power ball, that a boy. Yeah, a bit of a camera shift. Sometimes these auto cameras don't work all uh, well. Okay. Big men are not supposed to dance around like that. It's the new crew, yeah. Carmel and Trick for the Acclaimed. I, I'll be honest, I don't know. I don't know if Carmelo would last in AEW. And I think he proved it when he first came out to the main roster. Because the thing about AEW more than anything else is the fact you gotta handle your handle your skills on the mic, and I don't think Car I don't think Carmelo can. I, I don't think he's I don't think he can stand on his feet that much when it comes to promos overall. Poison Rada? If Mercedes is catching heat for her promos, no one is safe, yeah. No way. Oh my god, I thought we had to... True promo mer meritocracy? The hell was that? Oh my god! Trent Shaw is our new WWE champion. Here is your winner in the new undisputed WWE Universal 
<laughs> Let's go! This has got to be the upset of the century here. Mercedes worth the risk or else you don't. Too early to tell. Too early to tell. Give it a year. See how this really works out. Right back to. There we go. Three and a half stars just where we needed it. Oh. We had to quickly answer your question there. Mercedes. They're just starting to flesh out her story with the, uh, the elite. Now that she's being moved in there, let's see how it goes from there. But yeah, Ryback 2.0 is our now our new WWE champion. Oh, oh, oh my. Well, we know where Gunther's Gunther's gonna say he wants his title back. You gonna be pissed. But with that being said, let's go check out what everybody else did. I did not expect that. <laughs> All right, for Raw, opening matchup, Otis taking on Stardust for the, uh, the World Championship right off the bat. Let's go. Oh, you don't decrease rivalries at all. There's no way you can decrease the rivalry. Oh, it didn't increase it. No, it didn't, which I'm shocked about. We'll get it up. That's what she said. Lita calling out. Oh, got a rivalry with dead ass here. Okay. Our truth taking on macho man, Randy Savage. We're going to get a feud out of this. One, two, ring it. Savage wins. No rivalry. Okay. Semi vortex is a vortex on the mic. Carmella, Shayna Baszler. I do believe this is a level four already. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Shayna Baszler wins. Three and a half stars. Danielle Wallace getting herself over a little bit. And our main event. Jimmy Uso, Braun Strowman, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Everybody's, there's two rivalries. All the uh, brands work with each other. Two heels to the face, though. They still give him three and a half. I don't know. It just drives me nuts when we don't get away with that. All right, so our opener here, Karrion Cross was his Bukhati. One, two, ring that bell. Brings that up to a level four and a two and a half star match. Okay. Finn Balor puts himself over. Oh, charity promo, sorry. Tag team match, Drew and Omos taking on the jobbers. One, two, that's three, bring it. Two and a half, and this rivalry's a level two, I love it. Gargano puts himself over a little bit, I like that. Orton and Chase with a run in by Jerry Attrick taking on Tim Burr and Elton Prince. So if you're wondering why the tag titles aren't defended here, tag champs out. I, I think they got like three or four champions, two or three champions that are out. WCW especially does, but maybe here as well. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. Orton and Chase still, still get it. All right. That's cool. Uh, this jobber feud, great. Main event, China versus... Oh, uh, yeah, the big injury in, on Raw right now is Alexa Bliss, the other half of the uh, Bomb and Blondes, because they're uh, Tiff Tiff has uh, got two titles, and Alexa Bliss has the other tag titles. So, Iron Man match. All right. One, two, that's it. China wins the Iron Man match in a four, three and a half. Good on him. See how ECW did. 
Ronda Rousey, Piper Niven versus Candice LeRae and Neon Brightstar with Vicky McLeod running in on Brightstar. Those two have been One. arguing forever. Rousey and Niven. You always get a boost on the women's matches because they cannot get title matches. Jody Garcia, one over. Looks like Thunder Rosa, except with a corset. MVP versus the Boogeyman, which is sort of perfect for ECW. Boogeyman wins. Two star, which is fine. New rivalry. Isla Dawn calls out Ronda Rousey. Okay, that should be an interesting match. Miz versus Tyler Bate. I was going to say master, but we'll leave that out. Miz out for a month. That's got a suck. Sheamus. Get himself over. And our main event here for the world TV title, Josh Briggs versus that. Yeah, him. Come on, Briggs. Briggs wins the title. Let's go. I'm not even sad that it's a four star match. All right, time for the final report cards. Good booking. I, yeah. The first show after a PLE for me is always good booking. I don't expect amazing. We got a level one, a level two, a level one, a level two, a level three. They got a level four, level two, level one. Good booking there, level four, I knew that was there. A level two, level three, and nothing. And ECW's gotta be all over the place here. Two. Miz out four weeks, two there, and a three there. So they're doing okay. With that being said, now let's go check the numbers that really matter. Actually, I want to check the match report on this. So the only thing that screwed this up is match type. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get this rivalry going. I'm going to get Blair to, next week. I'm going to get Becky to change roles. Not turn face heel, but change a category. That's one of the options I have as uh, I believe we got her to a level 15. She can be either a bruiser or a fighter, one or the other. Once I change her, then the matchup will be a lot better. So and then I'll get Blair to call her out. So that'll work out there. And this one here, that still worked out well. This one here, just the match type, I didn't get a bonus or I would have been big time there. And the fact that it was a title match got five stars. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, let's see. Let's see our final report cards. 108. So 34,000 fans. We're up to 274,000 in cash. That's awesome. So they got 44, so they gained even more on us this time. And they're still behind in cash. We're going to have to find a way to get rid of their fans a little bit here. All right. 37,000, so they're pretty decent close to us. Everybody's deal with the same amount of cash. We got a little bit extra, so... I am going to have to work on bringing more fans in. Omos and Drew are now an official tag team. That's going to be fun. And then... 43,000. ECW really pulling in the fans this week. So we got the two-bit arena. So we are still at first place technically, but now instead of being down 40,000 fans, we're down 50. We're down 56,000 fans. So we're going to have to get our buttski gear ski here as we move things forward here. Uh, 
I see that Raw is no longer having a women's champ. I, I I just can't get over the fact that we got Trent Shaw there as our uh, as our men's champion right now. Like holy crap! I I, I can't believe it, but. Before we wrap things up here, folks, uh, as per tradition and the fact that WWE 2K24 does not save on this screen, we're going to advance it up here to the next booking range. So we got a couple contracts that are coming up and we'll have to uh, see what's going on from there. So let's go take a look. St. Louis, two weeks for a Survivor Series. Five weeks, 30,000. I think I'm going to try lowballing. If not, I'm going to let her go. Yeah, I'm going to let her go. She's not... Billy's going to be worth more. 33.5. You know what? I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to pull the card on her. So that way I don't have to deal with it. So, Guter, I can't get him any happier than he is, so I'm actually... We're, we're going to get him up, and we're going to get him in... That's going to be an awesome next match. All right, Valhalla, what do you want? You're only at 25 stamina. She had this great idea we should tag up. You know what? I Fine. I need somebody to take on the champs. So we're going to have that cage match between Trixie and uh, rest your male tag champs this week. Won't be a problem. Let me book this in right now because this is going to be our main event here. Since it's her last night, let's just get this out of the way right now. I'm just going to put that in that spot right now so we can save it for later and I don't forget, more importantly. Let's go take a look at... So we're going to get a fix. We're going to get injury rehab. We can get it get schooled. Let's, let's take a look at these ones, see how close we are on a few more of these. So we changed the role of a suit. We did one... We're supposed to do 10 to get this ca random card. So we have to spend one million on shows. We're all, we're down to one hundred forty-one thousand to get that one. This one we're gonna have to save some serious money for a few weeks, but I'm not really too worried about that. But yeah, in other words, we should be okay here for the most part. But yeah, that's going to come up on our next booking here as we head towards Survivor Series. Uh, which, uh, well, the one advantage I got now is I can move it over to this screen right now. As we uh, wrap things up here for tonight, um, we're going to book, we're going to have our next uh, episode here. For those that are watching on uh for those that are watching on Twitch, we're going to stick around because we're going to do a wrap up here at the end of this here. Those that are watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the chat about what your favorite match was and tell me how Trent is uh, your favorite wrestler now that we got the biggest upset in the uh, business. Right now, as Trent Shaw is beating Gunta for the heavyweight championship. Uh, yeah, I, I still can't believe it personally, but... Uh, with that being said, I want to thank you for being here. We're going to be back here uh, this Saturday recording our next one, uh, week 17, as we get towards Survivor Series. 
And if you're looking at this on Friday, our next uh, YouTube video will be up on Tuesday. So make sure you check those out. And uh, as always, folks, remember, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.